Hi, I'm Reva Hervis, Artistic Director of Overshadowed Theatrical Productions, and I have with me again our favorite co-host, Rebecca Leland, hello. and welcome to this episode of From the Wings. So, Rebecca, we've kind of taken a little bit of a hiatus during the summer. We have. It was a rough summer. Rough and very busy. Like, for me, I'm in ministry, and we were driving teens around teaching Bible clubs all summer. So, very, very busy. That's super great, though. Awesome. What was, how was your summer? What'd you do? Uh, uh, well, we did Beauty and the Beast, as some of you probably knew that we talked about. Huge. Whew. Can I say, and it never gets old, but it was a beast of a show. How many times have you used that? Oh, a lot. Okay. Probably way too many. Anybody who's been around me this summer go, okay, yeah, I know, Reba. It's a beast of a show. It was it was rough, though. Okay. And we had a lot of things that happened, which I think that for some of you, you might be like, how did you continue to hold your head up? Because it literally was one thing after another. Wow. Even the third weekend, we had a flood. Wow. Like this. <laughs> In the building. Yeah. So even if the show wasn't a beast of and of itself or... Just the summer. Wow. You know, and of course, COVID still rains a little bit and so the last weekend we started dropping like flies and so a lot of people couldn't participate the last weekend and just stuff wow so man yeah. but we're, we're over it we're we over are, it by summer hello fall yes absolutely and we're super excited about just some of the things that we have in store for you we've been listening to feedback and we know that there are some of you who really are empowered by the things that we're talking about mm. and that there are things that you really are looking to us wanting to know and so one of the things that we just kind of talked about is that we really want to make it a little bit more informal and just cash and just yeah. talk and let you into our lives a little bit more so thank you for watching and um I was telling Rebecca that as we were trying to decide what we we're going to talk about today, that a, I actually had a mini blog that I wrote actually two years ago during wow. COVID wow, 2020 um, pop up. And I thought, oh, this this is something that I really would like to share mm. for more than just what I put on my Facebook. So here goes um, Psalm 23, verse one starts and you can quote it along with me at home. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Now, the reason I wrote that all those years ago is because I was at a stage in my life that I was thinking about what was looming out in front of us yep. about COVID. Yep. And what I wrote is that I have spent a lot of my time wanting. Ooh. And I thought, isn't that still the way it is like oh, 100%. today? 100%. <laughs> so even though I wrote this and I tried to remind myself of that, I still want Amen. i want you guys to look at the blog yep. and I mean, the like share and comment <laughs> like share comment follow all those be different impacted things. you know yes yeah i wanted you to be talking about it i wanted to mean something i want to make a difference yeah Amen. i think that that's the way you are too with yeah. your real job you want 100%. to make you want to make a difference Amen. right that's why we do what we do um i recently got a an invitation, you know how you get junk mail all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course you know. how Everybody knows how you get junk mail. And a guy has started a theater blog, and he talks about all the things that I'm talking about. And he has this huge email list. Ooh. The difference is he's not a Christian. So okay. we yep. have that philosophy on our side. And, yep. and he's talking about all the things that he does to open up the world of theater to people who mm. don't have it anymore in their schools, which is mm. a lot of our same ministry mind. Yeah. We want to educate you to help you. And I'm like, well, how come he has all of these yeah. followers and what are we doing wrong? So what's at the base? I want, right? Well, I definitely wanted things during COVID because I was trying to figure out at that particular time, what is it that God really wants me to do, mm. us to do? Because mm. during covid Theater stopped. Yep. Not everybody's life stopped all over the yep. place, but mine did. Yep. And I was like, what is it that God has called me to do right before that? Overshadowed had had its best year ever. Yeah. We broke all the records. We had volunteers yeah. coming out of out the, the woodwork. Yeah. 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 We we almost didn't have enough stuff for the volunteers yeah. to do. It was so great. Wow. And then COVID hit. COVID's not just about us. It was not just about Overshadowed. It was a thing that obviously destroyed a lot of things in America. Yeah. And even to this day, I think we're all being affected by 100%. the damages of COVID, right? Yeah. But did we learn anything from it? And if I stop and think about that verse, 
I shall not want, did I really apply wow. what I learned? Well, if you take it further, the better translation of the verse is the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Oh, <gasps> okay. So what does that mean? In Matthew 6, Jesus promises to take care of all of our needs, right? Wow, amen. All of our needs. So we don't need to worry about where we're going to get food. Yeah. He promises us that he's going to take care of all of our needs. But Psalm 23 says, I shall not want, which talks about our desires, wow. the things that we always like are looking forward to. To. I want yeah. to win a Tony. Yeah. I want to, somebody to give us a million dollars so we can have a theater. Ooh. That could be you. <laughs> um, anyway, the word want in today's text means to lack, decrease, empty, or run dry. So when David says, I shall not want, he's saying two things. There are areas in my life that only God can fulfill mm. and he will. And I will be satisfied in my life with what God wants for me. How wonderful it is to kind of think wow. of God as our great shepherd yeah. all the time. Amen. Not just when we hear that passage of scripture. So what it kind of has to do with, with what has been going on in my life is I've been reading this book. Um, actually, the whole advisory board together has been reading it together. I love this. The called, advisory yes, board. Yes, yes, yes. Called The Heart of the Artist. Wow, Bye. And it is by, I did it, no, Rory Nolan. Love Nolan? It. Is that how you pronounce Nolan. that, you think? Yeah. Nolan, yes. And um, every chapter talks about a different personality. So Ooh. there is the person who procrastinates. There's the person who doesn't take confrontation well. <laughs> there is, you know, <laughs> sensitive person, the emotional person. That's next week's chapter, which will be interesting. We love the emotional person. Do we? <laughs> Do we though? Yeah. I'm emotional. Oh, I'm emotional. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I hope we do. <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> I love you too. Love so, you too. <laughs> so, um, this week's chapter was though on jealousy and envy Ooh. and what has a bigger part in theater oh, than jealousy and we even and have envy. videos about that like we've talked about this in yes. theater and the hold it can have on theater yes it's yep. it's okay i don't like you anymore because yep. you got that part yep. or i'm envious of you because you yep. got that part yep. and um i'm not gonna be your friend anymore yes. because you got that yes. part and why did reba cast that person yep. or why did the music director do that that or just not being satisfied with ourselves? Yep. <gasps> so how do we as believers get to the place that we can settle down mm. and say mm. the lord is my shepherd wow. i shall not want wow Ooh. the book gives a couple of ideas on how to deal with jealousy and i thought i'd just read one of the a couple of them really quickly Number one, to confess it as sin. And I went, wow. I don't wow. know what's wrong with me, but somewhere along the line, I forgot Amen. that jealousy is a sin. Amen. Amen. And sometimes I think that we have permissible sins. Yep. We give yep. ourselves like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You can, we all do up. it. We yeah. all do it. Yeah. We, and we can't stop. So oh. it's okay. Yeah. 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 It's not that big. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 No, but you just yeah, die it for is. it. <laughs> so jealousy, people, wow. is a sin. Um, also, you need to stop comparing yourself. Amen. I know that in this day and age, we do a lot about, hey, you're enough. Mm. You're so enough, mm. right? That is such a saying. And mm. it's something that I want you to believe. You don't have to mm. be tall, short, thin, mm. whatever. You're beautiful the way mm. that God made you. And I want you to believe that. And so I can't tap dance is that okay yes it's totally okay mm -hmm. it's okay that got that my parents didn't give me dance lessons when i was yeah. little it's just not what god yeah. intended for me to have yeah. and so i don't do roles like that yep and that's okay yep. i'm made for different things yep. and i cast myself in things that i will never age out of because that's smart of me because <laughs> <laughs> that's smart of me <laughs> but i just learned yeah. that that those that that's what i have in my life yeah. right so if you compare yourself always to barbie yep. well you're of course going to be depressed because there's only one barbie and who wants to be her anyway right yep. um so i thought that was interesting but then also coming to a place that we really learn to appreciate our god-given talent Amen. 
So I have this story, and I don't know that I've ever used this on From the Wings before, but I remember a very significant point in my life. I was in high school, and all my friends were really talented. Like, I had one girl who played the piano beautifully. She had a voice like an angel. Mm. And I had another friend who was super athletic. Of and course. And so yes. was, like, killing it. Killing yes. it. Yes. As, that, as, far, as far as that goes. And another friend who was the super cute, captain of the cheerleading team oh yeah and then there was me who at Beautiful that particular reason. time felt like I had no talent wow. and I remember sitting in the car with my friend Linda and we Linda had, if you're watching hi Linda hi honey <laughs> um and I we had just heard a sermon about wow. talents wow and I'm sitting in the car and I said I I know, I know, I believe that, that wow. God says that, but I don't know what yep. mine is. I, I don't know, I can't, I have none. That's honest. And she laughed at me and she goes, come on, you have some talent. And I'm like, well, I do do a pretty good job of playing handbells. No joke. That was all I could think of for my talent is I can play handbells. And I still love to play handbells. Amen, amen. <laughs> but it wasn't until I got a little older and went to school that I really started to hone in on what it was exactly that the Lord wanted me to do in my life. Did that mean right then in my life that I had no talent? Of course not. I just had to discover what desires God had put in my heart and figure out what it was and how he he wanted me to use them for him. So the other thing that I really want to, there's a lot of different things, but I want to say one more thing because I think it's super important. Develop relationships instead of rivalries. One more time. Say it one more time. Develop relationships instead of rivalries. Wow. How often do we go in and decide, you got the part, so I'm not going to be your friend. Yep. So we had something that happened during our summer show where um, one of the people knew that she couldn't be here the whole run. She was going to miss one weekend of shows. And that could have ended up being a catty situation as we replaced her that one show. But instead, she came to the rehearsals to see the other girl. She brought her flowers. And then the other girl actually responded just in kind back to her. And they I don't know that they're ever going to be super close friends. We don't need to. But they developed a relationship. It wasn't catty at all. There was no jealousy. And I think sometimes if we stop looking at each other as if we're a threat and we can value what's good about me and what's good about you, then we can end up really understanding that we're on the same team and better for it. Right. Amen. I would love to hear the things that you're thinking about any of these and the fact that, you know, the heart of an artist is a sensitive heart and that we need to nurture it. Nurture it. I'd love to know if any of you go out and get this book after yeah. we get done. And I'd also love to know what you struggle with wanting and how the verse and thinking about it kind of brings you to a place that you understand, hey, God has got this and I need to let him have it because he loves my heart and he wants what's best for me, right? Amen. Any that thoughts? Is so encouraging, Reva. <laughs> I love it so much. And that definitely hit my heart. I definitely agree. We need to start looking about what God has given us, not what God hasn't chosen to give us. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a big part of it, too, is be, being a believer and having the Holy Spirit and asking him to lead and guide us in this. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Well, so. until next time, it's just me. And me. Talking to you. From, from the, the Wings. wings.